Hey everyone, welcome back to Nancy Do Haunting and Castle Molly. Okay, so to begin with, we will need to figure this one out. So we'll start with this. Okay, there we go. Actually, managed to solve that one. I had to actually look up on how to do that one because it kind of confused me. <laughs> it was mainly just which direction these three went in. So we got a coin. Okay. That was completely useless. Okay, so we made that. Um, we're just thinking, because um, if we look in this book, what I just made is um, bugbane, which gets rid of insect inf infestations. Use it on this, maybe. But oh, yay, they're gone. Okay, now we have this. Don't know why I can use that one. Oh, I didn't even know I could go here. Okay. What the hell is this? I better go somewhere out in the open to work on this. Okay. Anyway, else I didn't know I could go. Okay, let's go out and see what this does then. Okay, this is interesting. How the hell do we figure this out? Okay, just don't randomly do stuff. Okay, I had a feeling that I probably would die. Okay, remember, don't do that. So, I went to wait until I actually figure out what I'm meant to do. Oh, okay, that can actually fit. Okay. Okay, symbols. I'll probably write those down just in case. Okay, these actually have the same symbols that were on the um, crosses. Okay. So, do I do these in a particular order? And I'll do uh, that one, that one, then there's that last one. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, okay, that did actually work. I just did order the ears. Yay! Looks like we got a new place to explore. What the fuck was that? Is that that sheep? That's oh yeah, it's just a sheep. You can't remember seeing see a sheep earlier. Yeah, there's like a heap of sheep around here. <laughs> Those sheepies. Okay, be careful and don't fall off the edge like I did last time. Ooh, this looks like a place. Okay. What the hell? What is this doing in a barn? Oh, okay, it's a Shira. Okay. Ok, 
Okay, so I'm guessing I probably need to get a sheep in here somehow. Well, that's gonna be fun. Oh, okay, I got another cog. Oh, that'd be the last one that I need for that um other puzzle. Okay, awesome. We have to finally figure that one out. Ooh, what the hell is this? Yeah, okay, so you flash. Okay, this. Okay, it looks like a map of the area. Interesting. Oh, hey there, crew. Nice to see you again. Hey, what are you caring about? Okay, another thing. Huh, this is interesting. Uh, another puzzle we need to solve. I found that the sig um the symbols for that one. I found a sketch you did on the ground outside. What's it for? What that? I was just messing around. See, I'm into real estate, and whenever I see an interesting tract of land, I like to sketch out how I'd develop it. Just to, you know, keep the juices flowing. It doesn't mean anything. I was just doodling. Great, so it's okay if I keep this. Uh, sure. Go right ahead. Okay, interesting. Lead? I'll see Mostly you I have a question. Do you know anything about this sketch? I found it outside. It looks like a drawing for some kind of housing development. For the land the castle sits on. Apparently Kit did them. Did you ask him to? No, and I seriously doubt Matt did either. Kit must have done those on his own. The question is, why? Anyway, I thought of something else you can do for me. Since there's a possibility, however remote, that there are forces at work around here that none of us completely understands, I think it only prudent to do what I can to counteract them. To that end, I would like to include these herbs and flowers in my wedding bouquets. According to Irish law, each of them is believed to be associated with things I could use a little more of right now. If you could pick them for me and put them in that vase over there, that would be wonderful. Here's a basket. Okay, awesome. This, of course, means that in spite of whatever it was I saw in the nursery, I still believe there will indeed be a wedding. Because no matter who or what took Matt, you're going to find him, Nancy. I have to believe that. Please don't let me down. Okay, I have a feeling I know where I can get those herbs, maybe. I'm Okay, <coughs> finally fix that. <coughs> oh great, really? Another one of these? <laughs> okay, <coughs> I was right about needing to pick those. Okay, I actually never looked at this list. Okay, I got marks per. Okay, I just need to get the rest of them. <laughs> Another one? I have a feeling there might be something around here. Oh, no. There we go. Another one. I knew there had to be something in the garden. <laughs> Another flower? Awesome. There's another one. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure I've only got two more left. That sheep doll needs stuffing. Oh, okay. Didn't know that was there. Pretty sure I actually need that for, um... To stuff that sheep doll, I'm going to need more wool. Okay, I'm pretty sure I need that doll for the, um, last puzzle for the dollhouse. I need wool, and I need to go to the... where the sheep were. Can be fun. Oh, okay. Managed to somehow guess that. I was just trying out different combinations. Okay. Is this. Okay, I have no idea how I'm going to solve that one, but... Well, oh, managed to get that. Hey man, what's going on? It looks like someone has been making dolls in this hut I found on the other side of the bog. The person who ran out in front of your car! That would be my guess. Any idea who this person is? Well, I'm pretty sure it's not the missing broom. It could be someone who knows what happened to him, though. Just what I was thinking. Just watch yourself, Nan. Anybody who lives by a bog and spends their time making dolls is probably not exactly running on a full tank, if you know what I mean. Kyler asked me to pick some special herbs and flowers to add to her wedding bouquet. What do you mean by special? According to Irish lore, each plant is associated with something like happiness, courage, peace, love, things that would be good to have a lot of when you're getting married. What brought that on? All the strange goings on around here are starting to get to her. I think she's just doing whatever she can to keep the forces of good on her side or something. In other words, she's hedging her bets. In other words, she's losing it. She's starting to believe in silly superstitions. She's getting married. I mean, what about how a bride is supposed to wear something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue? Would you call that a silly superstition? Yeah. It's a custom, George, practiced by brides for centuries. Customs like that are what make weddings so beautiful. They're so unromantic. I always thought shoving cake into your brand new spouse's face kind of looked like fun. You're hopeless. I found a draft of the vows Kyler is planning to say at her wedding. Oh, custom written vows are so sweet. Problem is, these vows have the words, What am I doing? This is wrong. Scrawl beneath them. That can't be good. How do you know she was talking about the wedding? Maybe she was just frustrated because she couldn't put her feelings into words. That's true. Did you ask her about them? What's the point? If she is having second thoughts about getting married, she probably won't admit it seeing as she's failed to mention it before. That's true, too. Wait a minute. You guys aren't suggesting that Kyler is behind Matt's disappearance, are you? I admit, that doesn't make much sense. But it is a possibility. You two are terrible. That's all I got for now. Keep in touch. Later. Hello? Me again. Forget to tell me something? I'd really like to get into the Tower of Castle Malloy. What's stopping you? The lack of stairs, for one thing. There are no stairs? They were destroyed along with half the castle in a mysterious explosion during World War II. Apparently, the guy who lived here then, Brendan Malloy, was some kind of mad scientist. Why do you want to get up in the tower so bad? I saw some strange lights coming from inside it. Kit says Matt is no rock climber, but still, I can't help but think it might have been Matt. Why would he be up in a tower? Well, maybe that's where he's hiding out. You just said there's no way to get in. I know, but maybe... He learned how to fly. You're not helping, Ned. Sorry, Nancy. I found Matt's broken glasses in the fireplace of the room he was staying in. What would somebody's glasses be doing in a fireplace? They could have been knocked off his face and landed there. You think he was fighting with someone? That's a possibility. I didn't admit it to Kyler, but I'm getting worried. Relax. 
Because you know what? If I wore glasses and if I were into playing practical jokes on people, I'd do just that. I'd break them and leave them someplace really weird just to freak out whoever finds them. You're probably right. But why don't you give that fireplace a real good look, just in case? Okay, <clears throat> I might just do that. I better get going. All right. What do you know about the stone pillars with all the weird writing on them? I've never been able to make heads or tails of them. Even bought me a book on Oum runes. Waste of good money, that was. Oum runes? All those lines. Ancient Celtic symbols they are. Runes. Spell out something. I lack the time and patience to work out just what. I wouldn't mind having a go at it. Do you think I could borrow your book? Sorry to say, I'm not in a lenden mood at the moment, lass. A wee bit of me favourite drum music would put me right. But the band can't be playing it because their drummer took sick. Looking for someone to take his place, they are. I could probably fill in. I mean, not permanently, but... Go to it, then. One ditty is all. Play it well enough, and the book will be yours. Seamus will help you get started. Okay, looks like I'm going to play the drums. What a fine lass you are for helping out the band. Now, here's what you do. Watch the cue. When it reaches the drum, just hit the corresponding section of the bowring with the beater. Keep doing that till the song's over. And if you've kept the beat well enough... The band will split their tips with you. They're about to start. Just watch the bar, keep your wits about you, and you'll do fine. <laughs> okay.